Hello and welcome to my channel, The Path Integrator. And uh, in the honor of the name, The Path Integrator, which I chose for this channel, I would like to start with a rather crazy integral. As you can see, it's the integral over the arctan of x divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. And the whole thing then is also divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. And we need to find a way how to solve that integral. Well, the best way to solve this integral would be the substitution method. But what do we substitute? Like, how do we substitute the x by something else? Well, the thing is, we want to get rid of the arctan because the arctan is super uncomfortable in this integral. So what we need to do is we need to find a way how this whole thing here inside of the arctan could equal the tangents. So if we find a way that this equation would hold, where theta would be another variable in the substitution process. Because if the whole thing inside of the arctan would be the tangents, then we would have arctan of tangents of theta, and this just is theta. And this way, we would have gotten rid of the whole arctan in the integral and might have created an easier way to solve this integral. So what we need to do right now is we need to find out how we can express the variable x in terms of the angle theta. So when we have this equation here, then we can write the tangents as the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta. So we can say that x over 1 minus x squared is equal to sine of theta divided by cosine of theta. So this tells us that x is equal to sine of theta and the denominator of the fraction tells us that 1 minus x squared is equal to 1 minus sine squared of theta and this is of course cos squared of theta which is just cos of theta. So both equations they hold and this equation here holds because cos squared of theta plus sine squared of theta equals 1. So what we have right now is that x is equal to sine theta. And this gives us now our substitution. So what we can do right now is we can say that dx divided by d theta. And now we have to take the derivative of sine theta, which is just cosine theta. So we have here cosine theta. And this leads to dx is equal to cosine theta times d theta. Okay, now we can use that and implement that into our integral. So we have the integral of arctan of x divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. The whole thing divide by 1 minus x squared dx. Let's make this a little bit smaller. All right. So, and now we plug in our substitution. So, we say that we have the integral of arctan of sine theta divided by the square root of 1 minus sine squared theta. And here we have the square root of 1 minus x is sine theta. So, we have here sine squared theta. Let's make the two more beautiful. So we have d theta, uh, dx is equal to cosine times d theta. So d theta is, uh, so we just write here, cosine theta d theta. Amazing. So now let's look, take a look at what is here inside of the arctan. Here we have sine theta divided by the square root of 1 minus sine squared theta, which is just like the square root of 1 minus sine squared theta is cosine of theta, as we have written above. So we just have sine theta of, uh, divided by cosine theta, which is tangents of theta. So we can write here, this is the arctan of tangents of theta. And then we divide the whole thing by cosine theta. We multiply that with cosine theta d theta. So this 
whole thing will drop down into something super easy now because now we have just because the cosine theta and the cosine theta they equal each other out to one we just have theta d theta as an integral and this is just a polynomial function which we can easily integrate to t theta to theta squared divided by two and now we plug in what is theta we defined x as the sine of theta which means that theta is the arc sine of x so here we see that the whole solution to the integral is arc sine squared of x divided by 2 this is the easy solution to our integral so i hope you enjoyed this video about solving this integral and if you want to see more of this content please like this video and subscribe that would be cool and you would help me thank you very much